Welcome back everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at how we can paint prefabs onto our mesh right here using Polybrush. Now, normally inside of Unity, you will have to drag a mesh into the scene, position it, rotate it, and that can of course take quite a lot of time. Well, the great thing about Polybrush is that we can actually do this automatically um, and we can attach meshes or attach prefabs to a mesh's surface. So first of all, before we continue, um, let's make this look a bit more like a planet. Okay, let's start by adding in some hills um, and maybe add in a bit of color variation, okay, to mix it up a bit. So as a bit of a challenge, I want you to go to the sculpt settings here and I want you to create some hills, some valleys, and I'll be right back to see how you're done. All right, some quick tips is that in order to change the outer radius really quick, uh, you can hold down control and use the scroll wheel in order to increase and decrease it. And in order to actually um, reduce from the mesh, so in order to not pull but push, um, you can hold down control and then draw like so, okay? So holding left mouse drags the vertices out, holding control and left mouse pushes them in like that. So there we go. I've just gone ahead and modified and sculpted this mesh a bit. Uh, next up, what we can do is go over to our vertex colors and we can just start painting on some vertex colors to make it look a bit different. And there we go. I'll just add in some color variation. Uh, so now let's go over to the scatter prefabs on meshes tab right here. And what we can do is, as you can see, exact same brush settings as normal, but down here in the prefab scatter settings, we have a few things. First of all, down here we have the brush loadout. So let's go over to our models folder and drag in these prefabs down to the current palette down here. Okay, we'll drag them all in like so. And then what we can do is click on the little check mark to bring it up to the brush loadout. And the brush loadout is basically what mesh, what models uh, we are going to be painting on. Okay, what prefabs we're going to be painting on. So just like before, select our mesh and click to paint on some models, just like that. Um, as you can see, there is a distance between them here. So in order to avoid that, what we want to do is enable use pivot, and this will basically make the pivot point be uh, the position at which we are attaching it to the mesh here. So as we can start dragging around like so, as you can see, it's painting on the models. Uh, now you may notice that these models are quite large and the reason why uh, is because this sphere isn't that big. So what we're going to do is we're just going to delete these here and I'm just going to go to the inspector and I'm going to scale this mesh up a tiny bit. Okay, back into Polybrush, we can now paint them on and they look about to scale. But what we're doing here is we're just clicking them one by one. I'm actually going to switch back over to normal shaded. Um, we're clicking them one by one and, you know, that can be quite annoying. So how do we actually speed this process up? Well, we can, of course, increase the radius. Um, we can increase the strength. And if we have the strength right at one, you'll see here that we are actually drawing them quite often like so. Okay, um, now there is some problem in the fact that we do have overlapping meshes right here, overlapping prefabs. Now, that might be something you want, but for us, uh, we don't really want trees inside of each other. So to fix that, we can enable avoid overlap right here. And once we start drawing them in, you'll see here that they are no longer overlapping each other, which is pretty nice. Okay, so we can make our brush bigger. We can then start painting them along here and wherever you wish. So this is really good um, for if you have maybe some terrain that isn't using Unity's inbuilt terrain editor. Um, you no longer have to go in and manually um, import these prefabs and position them, rotate them where they're needed. Rather, you can just fire up Polybrush and paint it on as easily as this. And as you can see right now, we've already got a planet with all these various different trees and bushes. Um, and if you did have more um, models and prefabs, you can of course chuck them into the current palette and add them to the brush loadout, okay? The brush loadout is basically an array of prefabs and each time you draw, it picks a random one. Now, let's say you wanna go in and you want to uh, modify a tree. You know, maybe a tree is not in exactly the position you want. Well, then what you can do is just open up the object's children and you can see they are all here. So if we actually go back to the inspector, click off this HD sphere, 
Um, just like normal Unity, we can click on an object. There we go. This tree might look a bit off since the rotation isn't correct. So we can just get the rotation tool here and fix that up just like that. Okay, um, these objects aren't being sort of combined into the mesh, rather they are still prefabs that are just being placed and rotated. Okay, so we can of course modify them in whatever way we wish afterwards. So yeah, that is how we can paint prefabs onto meshes using Polybrush. Thanks for watching.